this is a Lego Duplo Fire Station 6168 box for UK postage, all that crap. Anyway, I'm not going to read the title out on everyone. Um, but yeah, 34.99. It probably went quite quickly, maybe one cycle, that sort of, and when I say one cycle, one 30 day cycle, um, and it cost me £10. So £10 into 35 that's okay, I'll take that. Um, next, I wanted to show some uh, a couple of sticky well this one and another one later on in the video is a uh, sticky items um and these have sat around almost since the beginning of my reselling um or if not the beginning certainly maybe only six months in or something like that so a very very long time i honestly don't even know what they've cost me i don't even know whether i've made a loss on them or a profit I just want them done. I just want them moved on. I've probably not got anything invested in them or very, very little, but even if I've made a little bit of a loss on them, which I honestly do not have a clue, um, then that's fine. You know, I just want shot of them. There's some things that you buy, you make mistakes on, and then you just you just want shot of them, really. Um, and this was one of those really... At the beginning of my resign, I thought, oh yeah, DVDs must go well. And really, when I was beginning in retailing, the DVD market was sort of crashing, really. And there, there is some that you can make money on, obviously, and some fantastic niche DVDs and stuff that you make great money on. But general DVDs, it, it's hard to shift them. But it was surprising because this week, uh, three bundles of these DVDs have gone. And I actually have a theory that it might be to do with back, uh, not back to school, um, school holidays. Because obviously parents are looking out for these on eBay and stuff, cheap DVD lots um, for the kids to just entertain them really in the summer holidays if it's on rainy days, uh, which actually today is a perfect example of it. It's quite rainy outside. But um, yeah, so I've got nine quid plus postage on them. Happy to see them gone and get a bit of space back. Really, I should have just dumped these a long time ago. I should have car booted them, charited them, whatever, but I didn't. I had that sort of little bit of a hoarder mentality with them. Um, but yeah, they've gone now anyway. Uh, next was a nice item. Didn't hang around for very long at all. This is, uh, and this is a perfect example actually of one of my very latest listings against one of my very oldest listings. So if we just go back, can you see that listing? The title's not as long, it's not as keyword packed, the photo isn't as good. I've only got one photo, one photo, and then we go on to this very latest listing. It's got five photos, and I like to do five as sort of a minimum, unless it's like a mini figure or a vintage tin that I'm only going to do maybe two or three on. A lot of items are like five as a minimum, all the way up to the full 12. I do the full 12 on something that I feel like that's higher value and that's necessary. I don't always do the full 12, which might be a little bit controversial. And some people may say you should always do the full 12. But, you know, I, I just I just do it as I see fit, you know. Um, but this is a perfect example of an old listing to a new listing. Better photo. It has got a bit of light exposure, this one. It's not perfect, but um, much better photo, much better title. Really well, well done title, I think. Uh, you know, nice, um, full-bodied title. It's sort of like I'm describing a wine, but yeah, a nice full-bodied title, keyword packed, that sort of stuff. Um, and as you can see here, some nice photos. Uh, nice bag, this. It did have some tiny little points of wear that I've highlighted there. Um, I actually didn't uh, get £40 for this. I accepted a £30 plus postage offer. But I got this for five ninety nine, and it went within a week or two, so I was more than happy to accept that offer. So yeah, that was a really nice sale there. Um, something that I was confident about when I first picked up, but it kind of sat for a while. Uh, and this is a, um, a men's camel active wear or active um, sort of just a striped shirt. I'm just reading the title there. Uh, brand new. I realised it was fifty pound. And it was in the shop for five ninety nine, so I thought. And this is when I was still just getting into clothing, and I, and I still am just getting into clothing. And I really don't know what I'm doing, um, and not that I ever will, because I don't think I'm going to get into clothing in a massive way. But I'm certainly going to pick it up every now and then. But um, yeah, it, it, it was RRP fifty quid, so I thought I've got to be able to get twenty pound plus postage, twenty five plus postage out of that. 
because it's you know it is brand new with tags. Obviously, I'm not going to get the fifty pound. Um, I'd be very very lucky to get the fifty pound. But you know, um, I took a chance on it. Sat for a few months, maybe three months, four months, um, and it did go in the end. So you know, I was fairly happy with that for my uh, you know for my first real, real foray into clothing. This was probably in my first couple of months of doing it. So yeah, I, I can't complain really. Um, yeah, this was nice. This was in my nine my nine pound plus commission auction lot, which I'm well in profit on. Um, this is a uh, original volcanic orange is the colour I believe. Uh, Le Creuset frying pan. Obviously, it wasn't the best condition. You can see here, it wasn't the best condition at all. I did have a little bit of a clean, but it didn't really seem to be coming up. So yeah, I just sold it as is. Um, Seventy-eight, well, eighteen quid plus postage. I think twenty-six pound all in. Um, I'm not sure whether I got that five ninety-nine Hermes or whether it did actually cost the seven ninety-nine. But I did put seven ninety nine on there just to cover myself with my postage, obviously. Um, this title, although it's a newer listing, it is a little bit weak. But I couldn't really think of any other keywords to put in there at the time. And obviously it's sold, so that's not terrible. Um, but yeah, maybe I could have pat padded that title out a little bit better. Um, but yeah, still fairly okay photos again. I didn't consider doing more photos on this. I thought that was enough. It seems to show enough detail of the actual frying pan, so yeah, that was that one. Um, next was something I picked up very, very recently, uh, and I had a bit of interest in this item, actually. Maybe I underpriced it, I don't know. With this kind of vintage stuff, it's just make up a price. Maybe I should have gone twenty nine ninety nine. someone probably still would have uh, would had it for that, but... You know, I'm not going to complain. Um, if I could have got a bit more, then then that's fine. I could have got a bit more. But, you know, I paid 5 and I paid 6 quid for it. Got £25 plus postage really quickly. Um, and, yeah, just a nice item. Obviously, you can see there I've done some quite nice photos. I've done quite a few photos on this one uh, just to highlight it a little bit more. Um, so, yeah, that you know, nice sale, general, uh, generally just a nice sale, really, that one. And I liked picking it up as well. It was an exciting item to deal with. Uh, paid £5 for this in a charity, sh charity shop a few months back. Kind of just, I, I think I priced it, I wouldn't say really high, but I priced it maybe around the top end. Um, and it's just the Star Wars original Trilly Wrist game, sealed contents. £40 plus postage, paid £5, nothing else really needs to be said. I mean, it's nothing spectacular, really. Um, and then here's another bundle of the kids' DVDs that went. And this, again, highlights the fact that I think it might be my theory of uh, parents actually looking for DVD bundles online for the summer holidays might be correct because this is a completely 100% uh, kids-themed bundle. So... Yeah, I don't know, maybe it, maybe it is that, obviously, um, you know, we're only paying £13 there for a nice selection of DVDs, so that's going to keep the kids entertained. I don't know, but as I say, that would have been way back, way back when I bought that. I'm happy to see it gone, so yeah, that's that one. I'm not going to read too much more into that. This was a Victor and not, oh, can't say that. Victrinox uh, Multifunction Sports Golf Toolbox. Again, that title could use a bit of padding out. But I don't think I was in the mood. I think that was like one of the last items I was listing one night. And I was like, oh, just let me fill this title in really quick. Um, I saw that we were going okay on auction. And this one, it did it did un underwhelm me a little bit. I was hoping for 20 quid, to be honest. Um, you know, if I'm honest, I was hoping for 20 quid. Um, it was really excellent condition. This really nice. I'll just flick you onto this photo. It was, you know, it, it was really nice condition. Uh, nice little uh, golf tool, and um, the sales velocity was great. We were going good money on auction. We were going for decent money on buy it now, and I decided to put this on auction. I believe I, uh, no, it wasn't a ninety nine piece start. It was four ninety nine start. I paid three quid for it, so it was a little bit of a risk. You know, if I had only got the one bid, I might not have made profit. But um, I just thought I, I was I was confident that it would go up. But I was hoping it would go up a little bit higher than just the £12.50 there. Still made profit on it. Got a very quick turnaround, obviously, because it was on auction. Um, but, you know, as I say, I was just expecting a little bit more. But, you know, it's not a terrible item for auction, Matt. I mean, 
yes, you might be able to get a bit more on buy it now, but the sales velocity was good on auction, so it wasn't a terrible item to auction that. Uh, and then finally, a lovely item that I've been wanting to get Kaching on for ages. Unfortunately, my Kaching is broken at the moment, so I didn't actually get a Kaching, but I did see it on my phone. Um, and again, I researched this, I enjoyed researching it. I've got a very decent title there, strong, full-bodied, packed, uh, plenty of photos here. You know, plenty of photos. I think I've done maybe 10 or 12 photos on this. Um, yeah, really nice sale. Probably went within, definitely within two months. Because it, it was from an auction hall that is on my channel. You can go back and see it. Um, and it was, you know, was from an auction hall maybe a month or two ago. So it can't be that long. Um, I paid 20, £25 plus commission, I think, for this. And I was unsure. I said it in the video. I don't know whether I paid too much for this, I think I said. Um, but no, I just whacked it on high. A few people told me, you know, in the chat on, on the video, just whack it on fairly high, do some research and, you know, hold out for the price. And yeah, I shouldn't have doubted myself. I got um, a good price for £80 plus postage. And it's a niche that obviously I'm going to get involved with a lot more in the future. Um, and the good thing is it's a niche that... I'm all about, basically, in our community, I'm all about strengthening each other, right? That's what I'm all about. And a lot, there's not many people, or very, very few in our community, UK reselling group, that sort of stuff, YouTube community, that, um, you know, do a lot with vintage hats. And um, if I can gain more knowledge on that, then that means that when other people pick them up within the community, They've got me as a support mechanism, just like I have someone else as a support mechanism for something else, for another niche. So I'm all about that. So I'm not, I never just diversify for the sake of my business. I'm always looking out for other people as well. And the, the reason I like gaining knowledge is not just for myself and my, the growth of my own business, but uh, and not just to better myself, but to help other people out as well. Because if I can get to a really, uh, good level with my knowledge then that only helps other people out as well because they can call upon that knowledge so yeah anyway I'm gonna leave it there I won't ramble any longer it's probably been about 20 minutes so I'll leave it there guys thank you for watching if you did like the video please do go down below give it a big thumbs up for me if you have any comments about any of the um, items you've seen on the update please do drop them down below um, and yeah I'll see you in the next video so see you very soon guys